Hello and welcome to Train Simulator Classic where we'll be taking a first look at the Glasgow to Dunblane and Alloa route that's just been released uh, today for by Thompson Interactive so really looking forward to this one so without further ado let's get ourselves set up in this uh, cab of this class 385 in the ScotRail livery and uh, Knowledge AWS, AWS. We're a six car AWS unit, as you can see. Operational. We've got to set our destination, which is going to be Alawa, and we'll go back to the driver advisory screen. We are under a red, so let's set the DRA and let's set our lights to dim. It's very nice. So, we'll be, as I say, we'll be heading to Alawa in this route. We've got to stop at Bishop's Briggs. Uh, Lindsay Croy Labart, uh, Sterling, and then finally Alawa. Let's just have a look at Glasgow Queen Street because this does look uh, pretty phenomenal, I have to say. It's looking good. We've got another 385 there in the station. We've got anything else going on? Doesn't look like it. it's just the two, two of us in at the moment. And it always helps if you uh, open the uh, the doors, don't it? <laughs> Never mind, we should be all good. Looks like we've got a service coming in into Platform 1 here at uh, Glasgow Queen Street. So four car units. Whereas we are a uh, six car unit. And uh, to say, this does look very nice here. Okay, we've been given... Um, we can see we've got the, uh, the path Driver. now. You have reset the DRA. Please Let's check the signal. release those brakes. And uh, away we go for our first stop, which is going to be Bishop's Brakes. As soon as we get into the tunnel, we can head up to a speed of 50, so we should be able to go very quickly here. Just the tunnel out of uh, Glasgow Queen Street. Of course, we've got a very modern uh, Glasgow Queen Street that's been uh, recently refurbished. We've seen that in Trains and World uh, 3 with the Edinburgh to Glasgow route. This is a slightly little bit different, obviously, been in Trains and Lace Classic, but uh, nice to see. Nice to see uh, Queen Street again. And it is very, very well modelled. I'm impressed. I've driven this route already a fair bit, and uh, yeah, I have to say it's uh, it's really, really impressive. And especially that we've got the uh, train management system uh, screen here. Um, you'll you'll hear as we go along some passenger information announcements uh, within the uh, within the train, which is very nice. And uh, generally, just. All in all, this route does look very, very impressive. This is a summer evening service to Alloa. We'll step up to 60 in just a moment. There we go, let's put it into full power. Uh, it's an uh, eight car unit heading into Glasgow uh, Queen Street. So we've got green signals, nice. We'll be going past Eastfield Depot very shortly. We'll be on our right hand side. Let's uh, just uh, bring this out a little bit. Slightly speed there, let's just uh, get that back under control. And there's Eastfield uh, Depot to our right, got another 385 in there. Actually, a couple of them by the looks of it. Trying to take in all the beautiful scenery 
as we, uh, we go along here. Back to step up to 70 and then further increases to 85. And I love the, uh, the advice that you can see here. So absolutely says that we'll be stepping up to 85 in 10 seconds time. It's done by time as a measure rather than distance. Which is pretty, pretty, pretty cool. We'll soon arrive at Bishop Lakes. There you go, you can hear some Don't of the auto to take your belongings with you before leaving the train. Please mind the gap between the train and the platform as you leave the train. We start to slow for our stop, our first stop at Bishop Briggs. So it looks like there's another 385 already in the station now. Is for this service is on time. And we are on time. Let's uh, stop there. Let's open those doors. And I think, well, we've got some. Uh, no, I want to press that one. See if we can get a uh, nice thumbnail here, perhaps. Maybe a little bit closer. Mm. I'm not convinced by that one. We might get it somewhere else. We're still loading our passengers up, so got a little way to go. See, we were slightly early, I think, perhaps into Bishop Briggs, maybe. No, but it looks like we're pretty good actually. Let's head back into the cab. We should. To, there we go. You can hear those doors shut. And uh, release the brakes. Apply the power. Away we go. And as you can see, the 100, 100 board in, uh, in front of us there. Can, uh, really pick up the speed. So this is the uh, top speed you'll uh, hit on this uh, this 42 mile route. Um, so it's 35 miles from uh, Glasgow to Dunblane, and then a further nine miles from Stirling to Alloa. So pretty decent, decent length. All really well modelled. And the uh, 385 is an absolute joy to, to drive. Sadly, you can't, you know, can't get around the uh, the natural uh, window shape that you get in this 385. I mean, you don't get you don't get the full width of uh, scenery to be, you know, view of the scenery to take it in. But uh, nonetheless, it's still an absolutely beautiful route, as you can see from the outside view. So we've got Lindsay next, 1.4, oh, one and three quarters of a mile. We're all about up to 100 here. I'm sure there are going to be some very clever people who uh, come up with some amazing scenarios for this route, which I'm uh, looking forward to, uh, to take on. Slightly slow in here for our stop at Lindsay. We'll soon arrive at Lindsay. Don't forget to take your really take that speed before leaving the train. Please mind the gap between the train and the platform as you leave the train. Okay, we can see the end of the uh, platform here, so. Uh, 
to speed off. Brakes on this 385 are phenomenally good, so they are you know, pretty forgiving. So if you do get into a uh, spot of bother, out of trouble as we roll into Lindsay, head down to the end of the platform. This is running on time. So it is running on time. There we go, let's open those doors and yeah we're nicely into the station there. For some reason obviously we're clearly a little bit too close to be uh, opening the uh, doors on the front carriage. Although I think it's a pretty good stop point actually. Interesting. There's the rear of the train you can see. Very nice, you can see the boards are set for Alaba. You've also got the, uh, let's just head up here. Obviously we, I think we've seen this already, but the passenger information screens. Very nice as well. Remember, take all your belongings? Yeah, absolutely. We've got the classic uh, National Rail sign. Looks so nice. So well detailed. Taking a while to uh, load up at Lindsay here. There we go. Release those brakes. Apply the power. And off we go to Croy, which is uh, just over five miles. But when we can get up to uh, 100 miles an hour, we'll uh, eat up those uh, those miles in uh, no time at all. Acceleration is phenomenal. We're already up to 70 and uh, climbing nicely. Although it's still on the uh, Daz there, we're approaching the station stop. We're not approaching the station stop. We've certainly cleared our station there. Let's just ease back on the power now, almost up to 100. Very clear run so far, I've not hit any adverse signals. Keep one notch, uh, notch one just to keep the uh, speed up. But we are motoring along at this point. That's a, that's a good view from uh, high up above. Let's uh, come back down and uh, let's get a nice uh, flyby shot. Why not? There we go. Let's uh, see if we can get another one for you. As we come around this curve here. Go a little way up. There we go.
Beautiful. Ooh. We definitely need to be slow for you now. Don't forget to take your belongings with you before leaving the train. I managed to get the shot. Please move. So uh, start slowing. Quite really in time for Croy. Beautiful. Speed. Bit of a brake on. Don't forget, if you're enjoying this video, please consider hitting that like button and uh, also subscribing. It always is really appreciated. We'll roll up to the end here at Croy. Okay, you can see our stop marker. And uh, open those doors. We'll uh, plonk ourselves just here. Actually, no. We'll uh, go close to us and then as we depart, we'll try and get a uh, good shot. We've got a little while here at Croy as passengers get on and off. Have a little look Ryan Croy. See the interior of the station's nicely modelled. We've got the car park nice and full. Got the overbridge. Nice. It all looks very well modelled, especially the bridges. Very funky bridge going on here. Croy. There we go. Let's see if we can get another one. There we go. And uh, away we go for Labart next. Full power on. Jump back in the cab, and we're picking up that speed very nicely. So we've got uh, just under 10 miles to our next stop. So uh, yeah, we'll really be able to uh, rattle one. This is a uh, a uh, long stretch here without a stop, which is quite nice. Running at 100 means we'll eat up those miles in uh, no time whatsoever. Hopefully we uh, hit some interesting signals. Fingers crossed. Slightly speed in there, let's just put up 
bit of brake on, bring us back under. flat run to our next stop station which is Lebet. We'll give you, well we've got the opportunity, we'll give a view of the map, absolutely, so down here at uh, Queen Street is where we started things off, headed north, there's Eastfield uh, Depot and you can see we came along, we've got Cala Depot, Dots. We've got Croy, which is where we've just uh, just departed from, and there's us. Uh, oh no! At the moment, we need to be slowing. So I definitely did not see what that signal was. Okay, fine. That's just indicating. Would have been a, probably a flashing yellow for our uh, upcoming uh, maybe you can see it in the distance. Interestingly, those signals are out. I think there might be a slight issue with that. Mm. Anyway, as I'm saying, we're coming up to coming off the, uh, what would be, continue on to Edinburgh and we'll head towards uh, Stirling, which you can see, go through Lebert, we get a little bit further up, we'll get to Stirling here, go off to the left towards Dunblane or right to Alloa. Okay, let's hit, it's gone green now, so bit of power on, you know, uh, we go across the set points here at 70. And there we are. Across we go. So, just four and a bit miles now to our next stop. As I say, if you continue on to the right, that will take you towards uh, Edinburgh. And we'll uh, cruise along at uh, 70 now, not quite the speed, not quite the 100 speed. Further drop down to 60, just over a mile. Go, across we go. Still rolling nicely at the 70. Our 385. We're about to get a double yellow by looks of it. Which will acknowledge. And we'll start to break. As so we're going downhill, slightly more braking than normal. Seeing the next one, uh, next dirt signal will be a single yellow. But we'll find out in just a second. Yep, there you go. We're 
Let this run now at just under 30. Again, we have to assume the next uh, next signal will be a red. Got a little way to run to the next signal. Half a mile or so. But we should be able to see it hopefully in the distance on this clear uh, summer's evening. Okay, you can see into the distance there, uh, it's going to be a red. So it'd be interesting to see what we're waiting for here. As we roll up to this uh, signal at danger, we've got to get AWS, which we'll acknowledge. Take us to here. Have we got anything coming potentially? Service two, I would say. That is probably what we're going to be held for. Right. Let's uh, tell you what. We'll jump out here. Uh, we'll see if we can head off and try and find uh... there we go we've gone into the into the wilderness here slightly off map and you can see that service that we are being held for and we'll uh, pop ourselves Just here, I think. I think this could be a great shot potentially to uh, get a nice thumbnail. Fingers crossed. We can time it right. Here it comes, here it comes. This is what we're waiting for. <laughs> here we come. I think we just about got it. And there it goes. I like that. It. It's good service. That means we're now going to uh, probably be chasing the uh, this service. I'll have to uh, let it uh, let it clear before we can. Uh, we'll be able to go.
That needs to be in neutral, not uh, off. <laughs> It'll probably take a little while here while we clear. Come on. Let's just see where they are on the map. Ah, okay, they'll be, yep, stopping to pick up the service, uh, pick up the passengers. Hello, Bert. And that's uh, exactly what we'll be doing once they've cleared the station. So yeah, definitely a uh, bit of a wait here, but it's all good. Something a little bit different. I've done a couple of scenarios already. I think it's about five or six scenarios that come with the uh, come with the route, and they've all been very fun so far. And this is just uh, another one to add to it. And there we go. Let's reset. Driver, the, you have the DRA. reset the DRA. Please check the signal. I have. We've got say a caution signal. So we'll just pull away in notch two. And we'll see another 385. That was the other 385 service that was uh, in the station. This is a neutral section. You can see, you can hear the power cut out. Yeah, you saw as well the VCB lights uh, go off for a second there. I like that the neutral sections uh, have also been replicated. Don't forget to take your belongings with you before leaving the train. Please mind the gap between the train and the platform as you leave the train. Yes, ma'am. That makes sense for the arrival time at 20, uh, 20 minutes past. It's because we were going to be held uh, held at that signal for a little while. station pretty much on time. I'm going to because we still have a yellow head so hopefully by the time we've uh, laid our passengers up here that would have cleared to a green. Fingers crossed. There you go. And if by magic it already has. Uh, open those doors. See, so we're nicely in the station there. It's all good. Finishing them up, there we go. And off we go for Stirling. Eight miles. Well, we're in a line speed of 70 that uh, then jumps up to 95. So I'm sure we'll leap those uh, eight miles up in no time at all. Some lovely scenery. This well going on here. And it just picks up speed so so quickly. Going 
okay as we get past the 95 board let the whole train clear and then back on the power we go Go up to 90, and we're moving now. Chelsea's back off the power. Can we get a better? Let's, uh, let's go for a flyby, see if we can find a nice spot. Ah, uh, here looks like a good spot. Oh, no, I definitely didn't want to press that one. I wanted F3. And there we go, rocketing past at 95. Oh, my smart five anyway. <laughs> that uh, train in front of us is definitely cleared off, so we're not being held anymore held up by it, should I say. I've only uh, really been held for that other trainer and that we've had a, a very clear run. It's been nice. Lost a couple of points there, but it's all good. So, three miles down to Sterling. We've got to be there. Uh, it's five minutes time or so. It should be easily achievable. At which point we then branch off towards uh, Amala, which will be our final stop. Okay. Okay, we've got a flash in the yellow ahead. Indication that we'll be taking the set of points up ahead, so we'll start to break. Remember JWS, it's a single yellow, so a bit hard on the brakes. I imagine this is to put us into a correct platform at Sterling. That's 40 warning. are really well detailed as well actually I have to say they're not just generic ones stuck over and over and over again. Very nice. See no problem. We'll soon arrive at Sterling. There you go. 
Don't Stop. forget to take your belongings with you before leaving the train. Absolutely. Please mind the gap between the train and the platform as you leave the train. Okay, you can see uh, green head in position with the feather in position four, I believe that is, if I'm not mistaken. Should take the points any second, he says. There we go, there they are. Going over to platform six, which I think we're good for. Yep, there we go. Now we've just got to hit our stop marker with uh, the with correct, uh, accurate uh, stopping. You do get some extra extra bonus points. It's a nice little addition. Those red glares are quite uh, yeah quite noticeable. I'm not sure what they're all about. I guess they're off the uh, signals, but uh, did you really get that in real life? No, I'm not sure. There's our six car stop this marker. Is on time. We are running on time. There we go, let's open those doors. And here we are at uh, what is Sterling? Sterling does look absolutely fabulous with that bridge across, that really modern bridge. Not much else going on at Sterling at the moment. We're here for a couple of minutes or so. Still not got any other trains in here. It's second. Thought we might see that train in front of us, but uh, I don't think so. Actually, and I lie, here comes one. Looks like it's coming off the Alawa branch, if I'm not much mistaken. And here it comes. Uh, head uh, head over here. The train now approaching platform nine is for Edinburgh Waverley. That one's heading this off to is Edinburgh. On time. There's some nice shots here today. Hopefully we'll be off in just a second. But we'll um, we were very early into uh, into Sterling here, so um, yeah, we don't need to be departing until 32 minutes past. So we'll watch this uh, other 385 depart. Intense red that you that you're seeing in the cab. I think it's uh, probably a little too bright, if I'm honest. What we'll do is we'll yeah, we can be finally off. We'll pop ourselves here.
and away we go for our final stop which will be Alawa. We're headed into a 25 here so not too hard on the acceleration. six cars, two, three cars coupled together. We'll step up to 35, there we go, Put power on, and then we've got 60 coming up in just a second. Let's be fully clear. Full power. <laughs> and off to the left there, you'll see the it's just centre on us. You'll see the lines diverge off towards Dumbly. Okay, go head up to 60 now. Bit of a neutral section, a bit of thud of the uh, circuit breaker. Now we're on that uh, single uh, single lane runner. A little bit different considering uh, being on sort of the main line now on the single line. I like it though. And then we head up to 70. stuff. Just let that uh, run away from us there. So we've got four miles to out of this. Pretty straight uh, straight running actually. Looking at the map. I'm sure there's a passing loop coming up at uh, some point. Interesting to see if we'll be held there at all. Like we're going to be coming up to the uh, kind of passing section very, very shortly, about a mile or so.
doesn't look like we're going to be taken off to the left here to allow anyone to pass so we will actually right hand run now Uh, we can see Alaba is now just about a mile, mile and a half up ahead. I'm sure the next signal will, will probably be a caution. I'd imagine, maybe. That's to take us down to 30, and yeah, absolutely. Next signal is a caution. As we approach Hanover. Is this approach control at work? We will soon arrive at Aula, which is the last station on this route. So it is the last station on the route. Make sure you have all your belongings with you when you leave the train. We hope you have enjoyed your journey and thank you for travelling Scotland. There we go. Just changed to, to a single yellow, so yeah, absolutely. I think it was approach control at work. That's 15 across the set points here. So we'll slow. We'll right down, there we go. And into the platform we head. See the, the coaches snake away across the points. And in we run to Alaba. to the buffers here. That was a bit closer than I'd... Uh, oh, that was a good, good distance. And uh, we open our doors. So, I think we'll rang things up there. Hopefully you've enjoyed this uh, first look video at the brand new Glasgow to Dublin and Alawa routes for Train Simulator Classic. I've thoroughly enjoyed this. I hope you have. If you have, please consider hitting that like button and also subscribing. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye for now.